I'm a fucking thug. Oh, really? Well, you ain't all, man, I got like three kids and kind of four baby mamas because one of them was a surrogate. Nah, but really, I'm hard, nigga, like, like hella hard as shit. People died their hair from where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? Man, it's dead all as shit, I'm not gonna lie. Young girls learn to speak with no social filter. Guys walk with their pants a little off kilter. All the flowers in front of every house is wilted. Criminals will say they have so much money but still live in a house that's filthy. It's pathetically poetic. See, my city is a damn contradiction. Oh, really? It's like a fucked up Starburst commercial. We get shit for being ghetto. Nobody is poetic. We are forced to understand freedom by getting put behind bars first. Blood stained, ricochet scarred sidewalks are walked on by gravekeeper feet. Stuffed inside Converse and Jordan high tops. See, we're ghetto. We put too much sugar in the Kool-Aid. We talk shit because quick wit is matched with a quick hand. And crimes are followed by quick feet. And a fast lifestyle is followed by a quick sleep. But fuck it, I'm a thug. Oh, really? Really, I'm happy I'm here, man. We all, all happy here. Not really. We laugh and talk shit to drown the sound of fireworks and domestic violence. Slapstick comedy and there's no mystery. Sherlock Holmes would run the fuck home if he ever visited though. The fucking broken down windows don't give the place character. What's poetic? Fuck poetic. I first joined slam poetry because my friend told me I could slam. Because it's the only way I could creatively complain and people would think it's art. I could complain about how half the contacts in my phone are put into a group label voices. Because these are all my dead friends and the only last time we talked was when I called and they told me they couldn't come to the phone at the time. I just, I sent him a text, hoping God might hit me back like, dude, he's okay, pay your phone bill, nigga, you haven't done it in three months. I could complain about how struck, dumb, and mundane the routine is. We have the car wash to raise funds for the funeral costs and put their face on a shirt. It's memorable fashion for our plight, because goddamn, nobody here has passion for Christ. It's ghetto, I know, but I don't give a fuck if it's not poetic. We experience freedom like caged dogs. They threw pieces in the middle of the street, told us to go get it. I complain about how long I haven't been home. I can't talk to my mom because she wants to see her son, but I'm eclipsed by a shadow of someone who's not me. My mother ran her house just fine, but she never saw her son fall with the evening. I can complain about how playing the hand we're dealt is the dumbest thing ever, because not everyone is playing the same game. Where I'm, where I'm from, life is played by spades. We go around throwing down until we play the wrong card and get the game cut short by the trump. Sometimes the guys holding all the spades are the chumps, or maybe it's blackjack because we're never meant to live past 21. We laugh because the truth hurts us the most and it's the funniest thing sometimes, but I'm tired of complaining. Just remember, the next time you see us, we don't mug like a thug right before he goes to trial to go for that Ben Stiller blue steel look. Oh, really? Most of the time we're just laughing because we're in denial.